all right guys i am back and i am so excited because today we are going to be talking about adding pages and kind of how you can um move things around in your planner and customize it for your needs and this is what really makes ink and pine planners unique because we offer a huge library of templates that come with our planners um, so that you can you can really dig in and customize them a ton for exactly what you need in your lifestyle. So um, let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. And we're going to be starting again today with Good Notes. And then I will also go over the same um, steps or uh, processes in Noteshelf for Android. I talked a little bit about this in my last video, but I'm going to mention it again for those of you who might have skipped the last video. Noteshelf for Android is different than Noteshelf for Apple. So if you are using Noteshelf for Apple, some things will be the same and some things will be different. Um, just keep that in mind that they are not the same app and things and it does work differently. So anyways, all right, so let's just dive right into it. Um, so right now I have Good Notes. I have my little mini planner that came with the boot camp pulled up on my Good Notes app, and I'm going to show you how you can move pages around first. So Good Notes makes this really, really easy. All you have to do is click on this little four box icon here up in the upper hand corner and you will see a box that pops up with every single page that's included in your planner and um, you have a couple different options of what you can do from this screen you can um, move pages which is what i'm going to show you right now so to move a page you'll just select it and literally drag it into your new position easy peasy, right? And you'll just drop it where you want it to go and then it's moved. You want to be careful when you're moving pages in planners around because sometimes when you move them, you can break the link or the button that works for those. So like with these daily pages, the reason I put it back where it was is because um, if I move that around, I could potentially make it so that the links that go to that daily page no longer work. Um, it's kind of a hit and miss with good notes on whether or not it's going to be able to save the links correctly um, after you move pages. So in general, you want to only move pages that you duplicate or create um, and try to leave the pages that are a part of the planner alone. <laughs> um, so that way that you don't run into any problems with broken um, buttons and things. So to duplicate a page, I'm going to scroll down to our blank note section which you can see right here it's just a blank page um that is for this little blank tab over here i want to duplicate a page inside that tab so you're going to click on the little down arrow right here and you can click duplicate that will add a page directly after that one and that is the page that you can go in and edit and change however you want and then you can move these around um, as well. So if, once you duplicate a page, you don't necessarily need to worry about breaking the links. You can kind of move that around as you want. You don't want to use the selections like add page before or add page after because that will just create essentially a blank page. It won't look like your planner. Um, so those don't necessarily work. You want to make sure when you're adding pages, you're duplicating another one. And most good planners will come with blank pages you can duplicate so that you can use things like inserts and templates. The next thing I want to show you is before we go into um, adding inserts and templates is how to delete the page once you create it. So to delete a page, you're going to click that same little arrow and you're just going to click move to trash. Again, if you, if you delete one of the original pages in the planner, potentially there will be some buttons related to that page that will no longer work. Like if I were to delete one of the daily pages like day 31, the, the button for day 31 is going to take you nowhere after that because that page is gone. So it will no longer work. You can't replace it with something else, um, if that makes sense. So that's really everything you need to know how to use from this little screen as far as duplicating, moving, and deleting pages. Um, now I want to show you how templates and inserts work. Um, for, before I show you how they work, I do want to talk about the terminology. Um, templates and the word template and the word insert in the digital planning world are typically used kind of interchangeably. They're basically the same thing. Um, they're essentially an image that gets used 
uh, to create a new layout inside your planner. So they're kind of a customization option, similar to stickers, but stickers are usually more decorative, whereas inserts and templates are intended to give you additional functionality inside your planner. So you'll see templates for um, habit trackers, you'll see templates for meal planning pages, all kinds of different things to kind of give you um, a little extra with just your, in addition to your actual planning pages. Also, you'll see templates for different layouts for your weekly and daily and monthly pages. So if you want to try out some different layouts, you can, and you would do that by using templates. The mini freebie planner we included for templates for you to kind of try out how this works and see if it works for you. Um, but the 2022 version of our planners comes with over 130 different templates you can use to customize it for your needs and you can find a list of all the templates included on our website and I'll link that down below um, so you can find it if you're curious about that <sighs> or if you're if you're curious about what's included um, so let's go over to our template so I'm going to just quickly navigate to templates and you can see I have four here and these are all clickable um, let's just say I want Let's say in this scenario, I want to turn my little number one tab or my blank tab into a um, to-do list. So I have a to-do list template right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that to pull up the template. And there's a couple different ways I can go about using this template. The template that's inside the planner is a flattened page. What that means is that these pages do not move and it's already set up for you to use right out of the box. And so to use it, you will just use your little four dot icon here and you'll scroll down to the template page, which it highlights the page you're on in blue and you're going to hit duplicate. And then I'm going to move this behind that blank tab section here. And now I have a to-do list inside my tabbed section. But let's say I have a page like um, one of the weekly pages. Let's go to this one. And I want to try out a different layout for this page, but I want to be able to still get to it through my links. I want to be able to click on these and have it get to this page, but I want to try a different page layout. I included a new template for you inside the email for day three. So if you go ahead and click on it, it will take you to a page that looks like this that has these images that you can download of the template of a new weekly template page. So if you download these, download the zip. I'm just going to do this way. Download and go back and do the other page. Okay, so both of those are downloaded. Now I can go back to my good notes and I can add an image in, just like we talked about in yesterday's tutorial. Um, but I'm gonna have to click on insert from and then it's going, mine automatically pulls up my downloads. If yours doesn't, you can navigate to them um, by either searching or clicking that back button and it will take you to different um, locations inside your I, your iPad. But mine are already showing up right here. So I'm going to click this first one and it's going to bring it over like this and it's going to bring it over like this and it's going to look exactly like a sticker and I can just resize it to the size I want. And when I click off of it, I have now replaced that page and I can even with this one... I want to make it a little bit shorter because I want to still see my numbers here at the bottom. There you go. And then I'll do it with the other side as well. Oops, sorry. Insert from. This is the other side. And stretch it to where I'm happy with it. I'm just going to shorten it a tiny bit. And there you go. So now I have a totally different layout for that weekly template and my links, oops, my links still work and this page is just replaced. Um, the only drawback between doing it this way where it's not a flattened page like the to-do list was is that now if I go and I start trying to edit images, 
And we have kind of talked about this in other tutorials. But if I add another image, I'm just going to add this one from my daughter's dance thing the other day. Um, I add an image to it and then I want to move that. If I use the lasso tool, it's going to select the background. The background is not a permanent, um, permanently placed thing. So to get around that, you're going to need to use your image tool and then select the images. Um, and it's a little bit tedious, but it's, it works and it's fine. You get kind of used to it. Um, so that is how you work with kind of the customization templates, um, as far as replacing ones for days and weeks, things like that. The drawback of using like the flattened page, like we did when we made the to-do list is that you cannot replace the content that is on any of the linkable pages like this one um, with these flattened pages, but it's nice because the background doesn't move. So you kind of have both options as you're working or you're looking through different templates and things like that. Um, our inserts that come with the 2022 planner are the images that you can copy over. Um, so you can do it that way, or we actually include a sticker book that looks like this show you and you can just we try to make it really easy in good notes you just copy it like this and then paste it down and it's already sized proportionately for you so um with the actual digital planner it's a little bit easier just because we include that sticker kit but any or that template kit but anyways that is how you add templates of any kind into your planner the last thing i want to cover as far as pages go is how to favorite your pages because that is also really nice so if you have a page that you use often let's just say it's my new template or my new to-do list that i created right here you can favorite by just clicking this little flag right here. And then when you're inside this little four box icon screen, you can have your favorites pulled up and it will have anything you flagged right here. I like to do this with whatever page it, of the week, like whatever page I'm on and the daily, because I use dailies too. And um, that way I have both really in really, really quick access and I don't have to scroll around looking for things. Um, so that is a really nice feature of GoodNotes as well that I wanted to show you. Um, and that is it as far as using pages and manipulating pages in GoodNotes. I'm going to jump over to my Samsung app real quick and show you the same steps inside the NoteShell for Android app. Okay, so now I have my Samsung pulled up and my um, mini planner in my NoteShell app pulled up. So we can kind of cover how to do the same steps as far as adding pages, deleting, and working with templates inside NoteShell. So um, so first thing we're going to be doing is moving pages around. So note shelf has a similar screen as good notes, um, where you can see all of the pages. It's just right here and you can make this bigger if you need to or smaller, however you want to, um, do it, but it gives you kind of a quick preview of all of the pages that are inside the app. You can click edit or inside the planner. You can click edit. Um, and this is how you can move order, change, or delete things. Um, to move pages, you're just going to select it. And then if you kind of tap and hold, it will lift from the page and you can drag it into a new location, just like with GoodNotes. Um, again, you want to be careful with how much you move things around inside these planners because they are linked. And if you move things around, you can potentially break those links. And so then the buttons won't work and it'll kind of ruin your planner a little bit. So just be conscientious of what you're moving and try not to move original pages or linked pages around um, within the planner. Then same thing goes for when you duplicate or add a page. So to duplicate something, you're going to select it. I already have this one selected and you'll see there's a duplicate button right here. Duplicate one page and it's going to create a copy after it. So this is the copy right here. So you don't want to move this one around, but you can move this one around without breaking any links. Um, and then to delete it, you're going to select it and then click delete one page and that will delete it for you. Again, you don't want to delete original pages. If you want your buttons to stay intact, you just want to delete duplicated pages or pages you know that you will never need and you don't care if the buttons don't work for those anymore. Um, so to then work with inserts, um, we have and templates, we have um, our template pages right here that you can go in. So we're going to do the same thing and we're going to, we're going to duplicate this template page. So to do that, we're just going to go into it, 
Oh, sorry. We're going to click edit, select the page we want to duplicate and we're going to, or we want to use, we're going to duplicate it, duplicate one page, and then I'm going to move it to my blank tab section and click done. And now I can go to that section and my new page is inside my, um, my blank tab. Um, so again, this is a flattened template page, which means it's inside the planner already and the background will not move. The background moving isn't as big of a deal inside note shelf because they do have the lock feature, but it can still be annoying, um, to have your background moving. So, um, some planners come with flattened versions and that is how you would use a flattened version of a template. Our planners actually come with separate image files for the templates. So to use those, you'll need to download them first. So go back into your day three email and click on the link that's provided there that will take you to this page where you can see this template that we've provided for you for free for, so that you can kind of try this out, see how it works for yourself. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is download these. So we're going to click the download button. It's going to start the download. Um, and then you're going to go back to your files inside downloads. You'll have a template freebie zip file, unclick that orange one and then click extract. I'm just going to rename it template freebie. And then um, what you can do is you can move this just like we did with the stickers. I'm going to move this over to stickers, even though I should probably create one called templates, um, but just so that I can find it easily, it's going to go there. So let's say I want to replace one of the weekly spread pages with um, that new weekly template page. So we're going to add it just like we would a sticker. We're going to go into the plus button here and we're going to go into photo library, back to stickers. Here's my template freebie and I'm just going to click on it. It's going to come in a little bit big, but I'll just resize it and... Get it to where I want it to be. I want it to be about right there. And then same thing for the other page. Struggling a little bit to get this right. <laughs> now, because you can't stretch inside good notes, um, you can because see how it's blocking the bottom here a little bit. What I'm going to do is actually crop off that white part of the top. So if you weren't watching the images or if you didn't watch the image uh, tutorial, you can go back to that and see how exactly I do this. But I just want to bring this down a little bit like this. And now it's a little bit shorter and I can have my little button still there. So again, the benefit of doing it this way is that I can replace um, information that's on a page that's linked without breaking the link. So I can still go in and click on these and that page will still look like that. And then you can go in and lock these like this. I'm sure it's where you want it. And I can add another image. I'll just add something from here, like this little Christmas tree. I use my lasso tool. It's only going to move that image and it won't move the template behind it. And that is one of the biggest benefits of Noteshelf, in my opinion. It makes working with templates super, super nice and easy. That is how you do that. And then if you want to get rid of it, you will just tap and hold. And you'll click unlock and then you can click again to delete. So that's how you can add the inserts that we provide, which are the image inserts in on top of pages inside your planner in Noteshelf. Um, the one last thing I want to show you in this video tutorial is how to favorite your pages. So to favorite a page, like let's say I want to favorite this page, you're going to click on the plus button here and you're going to click this little flag icon here and then you'll click bookmark and you'll turn it on and you can pick a color if that helps you in some way. And then when you go over into your pages tab, you'll see that you now have a little flag here. You can also bookmark them inside this by 
clicking on these and unmarking them. And this will make it so when you go in, you can click this little filter icon here and just show bookmarked like this. And then that way you can see um, your most used pages or anything that you want to remember and get back to easily. So yeah, this was a much quicker tutorial today. Um, I hope that it helped you guys and that you can have some fun playing around with the dim with different templates and seeing what you like, what you don't like, and how you want to use your planner. So um, enjoy that, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Tomorrow's video is the last in the series, and it's going to be just kind of a tips and tricks type video um, for anything that I feel like you know you guys might want to know how to do that we didn't already cover inside each of these specific apps. So yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Thank you.